Wow. All right, here we go. I didn't realize I was recording. So this is, I just finished shooting a video for rev reviews of these three wines. You won't see those until Wednesday, but I just had, uh, did something with some snacks, you know, because when I drink wine, I get the wine munchies. Those who know me know how that goes. Let's open this up here so you can see my face. See my face? Hey! You can see the wine glasses behind. So I just did a review of these wines. I look forward to sharing uh, with you, to put that back in with you on Wednesday, what I thought of these wines. And we have a Spanish white, El Coto Blanco. Then we have Ben Zigger. Pinot Noir and Ben Ziger Cabernet Sauvignon, not to be confused with Behringer. And if you do that, like I do, one way to think of it is Ben Ziger Sonoma, Behringer Napa. Sometimes I even forget that too, but that should give you a helping hand. So what I did was, you know, I got the wine munchies, I had some snacks, I went to my refrigerator, and I came up with uh, uh, something that I like to do is like simple sautéed. Broccoli, okay? You just saw that drop out. Why much is this crazy? So sauteed broccoli, and I did that, and I tasted it, like, oh my God, that was uh, quite interesting, you know, with uh, these wines. So I'm, I'm very curious as to see how that's gonna go. So, I did it with the two reds first, and I decided, I decided, you know what, I should go and grab the white and see exactly what's happening here. So I'm gonna take a bite of my broccoli. So, i tell you what this is. This is sauteed broccoli with garlic, salt and pepper, and red pepper flakes, okay, in olive oil with a dab of butter, all right? And I'm having it cold, well, kind of room temperature, because, you know, you got the wine munchies, you're not cooking anything hot, you're grabbing what's ready. <laughs> so here we go. I'm going to taste that. Mmm. Very, very flavorful. And I'm going to taste the white, the El Coto Blanco. I already know what the red tastes like, but I want to be sure. Here's the El Coto Blanco. Mm. Just as I thought, that would go with it. In fact, the fruit's there, but then it brings out the spice, but then the fruit comes back again. Nice finish. You know, nothing overpowers. You know, the broccoli doesn't take over or the wine doesn't take over. It goes back and forth, back and forth. That's where, that was really nice. You know, in fact, it softens, it softens these citrusy taste and brings more of its fruity qualities to the forefront. Wow, so that's the El Coto Blanco. I'm gonna call that a winner. All right, now for the Ben Ziger. The Ben Ziger Pinot Noir. Now you would think, this is broccoli, Shell. You can't have broccoli with Pinot Noir. That's the greatest thing about wine. There are no rules, you know? Step outside the box, step outside the lines, and try some wine, and try some food. There we go. Ben Ziger, Pinot Noir, from the Monterey Vineyards, California. Oh, that nose is heavenly. You're funny. With having the broccoli and the garlic and the peppers and spelling it, you know, I get on the finish something like candied fruit there. But it wasn't there without food, but with food, it's like candied fruit. Here's the taste. Wow. The subtle smokiness comes out with the Benzinga Pinot Noir. The fruit's there, okay? They're kind of like meat in the middle with these two, but none, it's not, it's not here, it's not there. The fruit comes in first right away, but then they kind of meet in the middle. That's really nice. I never would have thought to have broccoli, well, in this case, I have broccoli, garlic, red pepper flakes, and uh, salt, pepper, a dab of butter, olive oil. That's a mouthful. But do well with this. But broccoli, just broccoli is the main attraction, would do well with this. Mmm. Wow. I'm gonna call that a winner. Now for the Cabernet. Cabernet from Benziger. Here we go. How's that gonna do? Is the Cabernet gonna reign supreme? Are we gonna get a trifecta here? Mmm. That is so good. That's one of my favorite quick and easy dishes to make. Mmm. So, we're looking for the trifecta with the Cabernet from Ben Ziger. These grapes come from the Sonoma Vineyard. Now, Ben Ziger is all sustainably farmed. All right, I want to say that. Sustainably farmed. There we go. Mm, nice snow. That spice is in there. How about it? Mmm. 
Mm. Right, let's do that again. <laughs> Now, with the broccoli for the Cabernet, those fruit qualities that you pick up when tasting it on its own, it's the, the, the flavors here are so strong, believe it or not, it kind of kills a lot of the flavor in the Cabernet. You know, but it's not crazy off, but there's no harmony. You know, like you felt with the White, the Ocoto Blanco, or the Benzinger. There's no harmony. So there you have it. Two out of three is not bad. It's your Wisconsin wine guy. Pairing wines and food when I got the wine munchies, which is the best time because you're going to taste all kinds of things. And I'll see you next time when I share with you the wines that I'm having with food and sometimes strange flavors. And you can see these wines come Wine Wednesday, what I thought about them. Ciao!